All right, what's up everybody? Uh, it's Ethan here. And this is part three of my hike in Canyonlands National Park in the Needles District. And I'm now hiking through Squaw Canyon. Check it out. It's very nice. Of course, now that we're down at a canyon floor, there's more trees and things that you don't see higher up in the desert. But uh, I've done like, quite, a bit of, quite a bit of the trail at this point. I believe I have uh, just under two miles to get back to the uh, Squaw Flat campground, which is where this trail ends. So I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm not sure what kind of hiking conditions the rest of this trail is. I do know that Big Spring Canyon was very uh, mellow, but it looks like this one is a little more rough, definitely more exposed. And of course, now that it's later in the day, it's warmed up quite a bit. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably about 82 degrees right now. So, yeah, keep in mind if you're planning on coming out here, whether you're doing this hike or any hike in the desert, bring a ton of water. It's very important. Whatever you think you might need for water, bring twice that amount. Because it's always nice to have just in case. And actually, to be honest, 82 isn't even that hot for out here. I mean, for this time of year, it's pretty hot. But in like July and August, it consistently goes over 100 degrees out here. Honestly though, July and August, I would say just really isn't a good time in general to be hiking in the desert. That's when you want to be going up in the mountains. We're still getting some great scenery here. I gotta tell you, this has been just an incredible hike. The whole thing from start to finish. That's how you know it's uh, springtime here. Because these little washes actually uh, have some water in them. It looks like there's another trail that branches off that way. According to this sign, it goes to Peekaboo Springs, six miles away. Uh, I will not be doing that though. I'm gonna keep going straight back towards, like I said, towards the uh, Squaw Flat campground. All right, so I'm uh, still going through Squaw Canyon here. I'd say I've got about a mile and a half to get to the trailhead. So getting pretty close in the home stretch here. But uh, yeah, this is, um, this is still really cool. Just been kind of following this, uh, well now it's a dried up wash over here. And just getting views of these awesome uh, formations along these along the canyon walls. And uh, by the way, 
I forgot to give you guys an update on this, but I did pass by one group of hikers. It was right before I started recording this video. There was a, it was actually at a trail junction, so they weren't even hiking on this trail. We just happened to be crossing paths at the exact same time. So I did see three other hikers and they were, they were doing a backpacking trip. They said they had already been back here for uh, three days, which is really cool. But, uh, like I said, you know, about, a, like I said, maybe a mile and a half away from finishing this trail. So, I've been hiking for about six miles, and those are the only people I've seen. So, I'd say that's pretty incredible. So, it shows you how uh, remote this section of, uh, of the park is. Because like I said, I have visited Island, Island in the Sky before, and uh, it was beautiful and it was a lot of fun, but I did see a lot of other people there. Alright, well I just passed a group of hikers that were sitting down in a shady area, <coughs> and I thought I would have to uh, explain to them why I was talking to myself but turns out one of the guys that was uh, in that group is a youtuber himself so he knew exactly what I was doing so it was cool got a chance to hang out with them for a minute have a nice conversation and I'll definitely be looking up his YouTube channel when I get to an area that has cell service again And uh, I believe he said it was the Wasatch gear review. So now that I have it on video, I can't forget it. All right, guys. Well, uh, at this moment, I'm about half a mile from the trailhead so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video and end this three-part series for my hike in the needles here in Canyonlands National Park I really hope you guys enjoyed watching I had an amazing time out here and uh, like I said I only got about a half a mile left, so I'm going to enjoy that last half a mile of hiking and uh, get back to the car and head back into town. But anyway, once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will have some new content coming up pretty soon, so I'll see you guys in the next one.